I've got to go before. So this first section is named the ramp because that's what it is and it's impossible not to grind up it's also quite hard to go with one hand Ooh. so the ramp finishes at the pigs and by this point you're about 40 seconds in and your legs are pretty knackered and this next section tapers off a little bit So we can call this not so horrible section, the pigs. Nice easy way to remember it. And Alfred, the pigs and Alfred, the horse. Alfred's the horse. So let's get up the pigs. Nearing the end of the pigs, which is a good three minutes or so, if you're taking it fairly easy. And we're coming up to the next section. So here we are. This is where it's sort of the, we think of it as the middle, past Winnie the tree. This section is oh, the S bend. And it's the only bit of the climb that really gives you a bit of a break. Well, before arguably the worst bit, which is the famed numbers which are truly pretty miserable and this is where the numbers start and where you have to dig in at the top of the steep bit of the numbers which is around number 10 you've got about 30 white lines to go and this is where it gets you because you grind up the first 10 and then it looks like it should get easier but your legs are shot and it's just a bit of a drag to the top hey, hey. and Geraldine here marks oh the beginning of the end of the numbers. Thanks, Geraldine. Oh. Past White House Farm before the last proper hill. And on most days, for us at the moment, this is a bit of a breather before the end. Past the lovely Antoine. But on a day where you're pushing it, this is where you can really go up the gears and make sure you feel really properly sick by the top. Okay, last bit past Ian. Cheers Ian. And then this is the final section before the summit. Summit is just past the signs. This is where uh, you hang on uh, and today just <laughs> pedal into the headwind which is lovely on a day where you're pushing it this is where you tick up those gears and you properly die before the end which we'll be trying to do in two days time at the end of February Oh joy, ah. Ah. just about caught my breath. So now we're at the top of Col de Porco. It's now just a glorious ride all the way to the Mermaid Inn before the last hilly bit and then the Mermaid Pool. So the worst is definitely done. Because by the time you get up here, you get those nice feelings like, oh, that was worth that horrible climb. <sighs> Past the lovely Mermaid Inn. Mermaid Inn? 
mermaid house, mermaid something. And then we have the last proper hill. And this is another lovely one where you try and find gears that you don't have and you just grind up to the top, which is a bit easier because it's short and it's the last one. Okay, to the mermaid. One more time. Up the mermaid bank. Yeah. This is about the only place that I ever stand up, just to get it out of the way. Oh God. Ah, and you reach the top, and you can see the lovely rolling hills before the mermaid pool. And this is the best bit, because it really is all nice and easy from here. And you can just take it all in. Never gets old. I'll come back to this in 300 days and see whether I feel the same way. But on the 26th day, has not got old. And then this little bit here is victory. The mermaid pool. Mermaid pool. Judge, she isn't called the mermaid pool. She is not called the boat, it's called Blakemere Pond. Yeah, but we call it the mermaid. But it is the mermaid. Yes. Yeah, so Don't let anyone tell you different. Shut up. Shush all you naysayers. Thanks, Nick. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm glad you reminded me. 20 miles an hour, and I'm thinking this feels about five. 20 miles an hour, five, and I'm thinking, oh, let's go that way. Uh, constant 17s. Oh, that's a And four. Ooh, bloody hell, four. You oh, might be right. Well, that's pretty bang on with the temperature. Four is, four, for the, yeah, it's going down the temperature. Yeah, it's right. dropping as we. You weren't far off with the. Uh, with the wind either. No, it feels more than that to me. 